Hello and a big welcome to 2021. It's an exciting year and I know a lot of people have said, oh, it's great to leave the last year behind. It was a tumultuous year, but out of any adversity often comes great transformation and then great new opportunities leading forward for that. And I believe that's what 2021 will be. And so I'm looking forward to it. So happy new year to you, Mana, as well as happy new year to everyone else. Happy New Year, Pete, and Happy New Year to you too. Today is um, Sunday. We are starting a new week from tomorrow. So we thought we'll reach out to you and we'll wish you a new year, but we'll also have a quick recap of 2020 as to what happened. Most of you have seen in December a meeting of the Minds 2020 when we all came together. We thought we didn't do anything, but in fact, I think this, uh, what you said, the calamities bring people together and it's surprising to know that we all took this as an opportunity and a momentum to come together as a community online and we got rid of the fear of online visibility and suddenly the world is available for all of us in 2020. And I do acknowledge at this point of time, UK is in lockdown and I think some parts of Australia are also in lockdown and the scare continues. But the flip side, looking on the brighter side, I think 2020 gave all of us an opportunity to reflect. And most of us, I think you will agree that life became much more simpler and our priorities have become very concise and clear. So, and also the good thing that happened is we grew up and we came together as a community and as a skillful mind family in 2020. So we just thought we'll recap 2020 before we step into 2021 and reach out to you with what's on in 2021. What do you think, Pete? Yes, absolutely. Um, We did go through quite a lot of things, didn't we, Uh, during our Christmas party meeting in the Minds. Uh, we talked about all the NLP pracs that we did and, and master pracs and how they have all gone from in person now to online and in fact we're going to be doing uh, a prac which is online and uh, in person at the same time which will be interesting uh, later this month and we talked about all the uh, how all our retreats got cancelled but they're coming back online again and a lot of um, the stuff that we've done around meditation classes uh, have helped people start up still community groups. I know, like you said, the UK is still very much in lockdown, US too. Uh, so our hearts go out to you. We're very fortunate here in Australia that uh, things are emerging and we're, we're, we're able to meet. But still people are able to either get, get together in very small groups or we've helped them go online. And now there's lots of online classes So you're right, we did achieve uh, quite a lot. And I see that that process will actually not stop. As we come out of um, lockdown, you know, it's gonna be great to get back together again. Uh, I can't wait to, and I love the the, the last retreat we did, but still there, there is this push now and people are working from home, they're accessing information from home and that will continue. And we're in a good place to support people uh, because we've quite frankly made all the mistakes and worked out how to do it and how not to do it to help people uh, in that regard. So uh, it was an exciting year and we're setting up even more um, webinars and things like that to further support and assist people that are out there. So you guys that are listening to this um, to also continue that transformation into 2021. It's true. And also, I think uh, me and Pete, we thought because of 2020 and as uh, the world around is now online and the world is your oyster now, you can reach anywhere. So we thought we'll kind of enhance these online platforms and get people together. Let us come together more and more because whether it is meditation, mind or neurolinguistic programming or group coaching or able to set your goals and accomplish them, 2020 has seen the results. We came together, we practiced our meditation skills, we practiced, we kind of brainstormed each and every emotion and a thought as a concept, we've been quite candid. So 2021, we wanted to take this to the next level and see if we all can really come together 
as a family online can we i think it's also about unity unity brings strength and there are so many synergies one plus one is always greater than two so can we come together in 2021 so we thought we will introduce more uh, events every day online and probably i'll ask Pete to share about the events that are happening starting monday yeah so i mean look you and I have worked more clo closely than ever last year, and it's really been a win-win for both of us. We've really uh, been successful, even in a difficult uh, year, and we work closely with Andy as well, and I've worked closely with several of the leaders. And so I think that that is the key uh, platform, always has been, and even though we're in our different offices communicating over Zoom, it still will be. And so this bringing people together is important. And that's why we're literally going to be doing that every day. So Monday, we've got clarity with me talking about the mind. Uh, now, all of these sessions are 7.30, uh, which works well for people in Australia in the evening, and it works well for people in the UK where it's the morning. Uh, but on Tuesday, we're going to do something different because in the US, 7.30 p.m. our time is in the middle of the night. So we're going to be doing a, a morning session, uh, again, similar to Clarity, but more on meditation. But you will feel free to answer any questions. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are more about coaching, about us uh, helping you reach your goals, set your goals and stay accountable. Uh, you know, questions about coaching. And then on Fridays with the listening post, any uh, difficulties that you bring together. And for the moment, they are all free. So I definitely recommend everyone um, to jump in and, and try those out because there are so many opportunities, I think, coming up in 2021. Uh, corporate is a big one. Uh, I had so many workshops before uh, COVID that all got locked down and they're all starting to come back online again. And with people working from home, there's more importance than ever for people to come together. And, and so I think corporate retreats and that sort of stuff will be uh, really big, but mindfulness in general and self-development. So whether you want uh, to do it through the traditional coaching uh, avenue through NLP, or you want to do mindfulness retreats, both of those will be great. But we know that in starting a, um, new business, the ideas are one thing, but the biggest tripwire is your own blocks, your own tripwires, so to speak, in your own mind. And so that's where I think uh, we in particular, and you manner especially, are just so good at identifying people's opportunities uh, that they can take advantage of and the things that hold them back. And so that personal coaching along with creating a business is, it, you know, is, is, is foundational. It's something that we can really support people and our family with as we go forward. It's true. I think expansion and starting up new in 2021, that seems to be the way to go forward and collaboration and community seem to be the way as a, like a means to an end. So I think it's very important that we all have different strengths and we have seen that in 2020. We have seen people coming together and doing meditation together. We have seen people coming together and chatting with each other and coaching each other in the groups and it's massive what happened and people are talking about things that you don't want to speak in any other space but we created this space for you to come and chat so what we would really like to communicate i think at this point is if you are looking for growth if you are looking for opportunities if you're looking for collaboration peter and i we are here for you and I think the whole essence of we being together over here is to tell you that there is strength in being together and being online is no longer a taboo. We can reach the world. And now, as you know, as you have some of you are on the platforms, the meditation leaders, and also the other people, you're all on the listening post, goal post, and you've also seen experience clarity, you will agree the topics that we are discussing are not the average topics. The things that we talk about are not just the things that you would talk anywhere else. So because the whole idea is the freedom is in expression. The freedom is in exploring your thought. The freedom is in exploring your mind. And I think Peter and I, we stand together for that. Exploring your mind without conditions 
without bias. I think that's very crucial and very important. So what we would want to do is we want to hold this space for you to come together, to grow, to flourish, to explore, to connect and come together as a family. I think that's what we want to create. So in 2021, as you said, if you're looking to just start your meditation for your own personal development, or you want to take this meditation because that's a gift to the community. If you're not doing anything, if we can just give some peace to one person in our life, I think it's the most meaningful thing that we can do together. And also giving that clarity. So that's why we are here, that you have meditation to bring your thoughts to the surface. We have neuro-linguistic programming that can actually troubleshoot and whatever is coming up to the surface, we can go and break those patterns. And once you release that, blocks in your subconscious mind that propels your growth so if you want to expand in your business you do have the skill set over here because some of you don't know that i'm a business advisor and i've been a business advisor for 20 years so you have the skill set here so you have meditation mind business skill so everything is there in this group for you so come together starting monday on mondays uh, starting Monday with Experience Clarity with Peter Radcliffe and oh by the way so because this is the first week sorry Peter I forgot to mention this this is the first week of 2021 so we are focusing the entire first week on your goals your intentions and the secrets of mind and motivation and that's the topic for Monday where we are starting with the secret of motivation and mind and we would really love to see you there. That's right, yes. Um, I like the idea that you brought up controversy. We try to be a little bit controversial and, uh, you know, we're going to get some people that don't necessarily agree with us. And uh, that's fine. I think that's good because I think to expand, you need to be on sort of the edge of your comfort zone and you need to have people to bring some ideas which challenge the way you look at the world. And maybe they're wrong, but maybe you're wrong. But it doesn't matter. What's important is that it opens your mind up and you will connect with like-minded people if you're talking at a deeper level of mind and we've had people that have had i've heard of you know people that are partnering together and working together and doing great things together and i found out you know where did you meet and they met on our platform and that is music to my ears to think that we were that link to be able to bring people together um, to get those win-win situations so yes yeah, so if if you guys want to be challenged uh, then you know you know in terms of both your entrepreneur and your business but also from the point of view whether it's in your relationships or about your body or your health or how your mind uh, you know becomes the devil or, or the demons in your life then we're going to be exploring those topics and so you'd be welcome so look i'm excited for 2021 uh, i'm sure you are too manna uh it's going to be a great year. yeah all, all right absolutely so happy new year again and see you on monday and happy new year to you too Pete. thank you you too bless you everyone Bye. and i'll uh, see you